For over 60 years, the name Carlisle meant heavy construction equipment, especially cranes. Founded in 1937 by Griffin Carlisle, the Carlisle Construction Company started with heavy trucks and moved into heavy construction machinery services for the local tri-state area. Wayne, Griffin's son, grew up with a business, working after school and summers, learning everything there was to know about heavy machinery, always listening, watching, and asking questions of anyone and everyone. Over the next 40 years, Wayne Carlisle turned the business into one of the largest construction, rental, sales, and inland marine businesses in the United States, with over 400 employees and revenues in excess of $100 million annually. Wayne Carlisle was born on July 29, 1941, to Griffin and Anna Carlisle. He had a very normal childhood, doing all the things boys do, riding horses, perfecting his baseball game, playing with toy trucks, and real bulldozers. He attended St. Vincent de Paul grade school and Newport Catholic High School. It was a far cry from a privileged childhood, but it suited Wayne so much that he took over the business just one year out of high school in 1959. He married his high school sweetheart, Fran Harden, one year after starting to work full-time at Carlisle Construction. Taking over day-to-day -day operations of any business can be a daunting task for anyone, but 18-year-old Wayne had learned early on the business skills that his father had built the business on a strong work ethic, a commitment to quality service, and doing whatever it takes for the customer. Wayne, early on, decided that his rule was to treat his employees as his most important customer. Wayne is probably the most street smart person that I have ever met. Uh, he is intensely loyal, number one. Number two, um, you know, he always gives 100% for whatever somebody asks for, whatever somebody pays for. Uh, that's why he has been a success in business. He makes sure that the quality is there all the time. And, and people enjoy that, and people respect that. Wayne forged a team of dedicated employees who made it all work. Along the way, he saw opportunities for other ventures and found a way to make those ventures happen and grow as well. I think Wayne's probably the quintessential kid playing in the sandbox. And I think Wayne's number one interest was in doing it well and solving problems, doing it efficiently, uh, doing it through helping people. And I think making money on the deal was, was sort of a side benefit for Wayne. And he was darn good at it. By 1980, Carlisle Construction Incorporated was the parent of a group of operating companies. Carlisle Construction, Carlisle Excavating, Carlisle Equipment, Greater Cincinnati Marine, Moorhead Marine, and Dovey Corporation, generating $20 million in revenue annually. All of this growth was based on repeat business. Wayne's approach to this was simplicity. First, focus on what is important to the customer and consistently exceed customer expectations. And the way to do that was simple. Find and hire qualified employees give them the necessary tools to do the job, tell them their number one priority is to do whatever it takes to satisfy the customer, and stand back. Wayne's ability to attract and retain top quality individuals was unsurpassed in the industry, partly because of that operating philosophy. In the early 1980s, the construction business hit a downturn. While competitors started downsizing, Wayne looked for new markets. He opened a new branch in Orlando, Florida, and within 12 months it grew from a 7-crane to 70-crane operation, which helped to establish a nationwide crane rental business. By 1996, his entire business had grown to 375 employees and nearly $90 million in business with crane operations in Canada, Central America, the Bahamas, and the Philippine Islands. I mean, I can't imagine trying to get through life with that Wayne. I mean, he tells me uh, which shoes to wear, uh, he tells me I'm not allowed to uh, have a billfold in my back pocket when I'm playing golf. Uh, I, he, he, he educated me on how to put the $5 bills inside the $1 bills, you know, in terms of a wad of money, and that I should carry that in my pocket. I mean, all the very important things in life Wayne has taught me. In 1999, Wayne sold Carlisle Construction and its operating entities to Maxim Crane, making it one of the largest crane rental operations in the world. Hi, I'm Bill Kroll, and uh, a 40-year-old friend, not 40 years old, but 40 years in friendship with Wayne. And what I like to talk about a little bit is about Wayne and his family. Now, Wayne has five children and 17 grandchildren. He has three homes, and the reason he has three homes, about 10,000 square foot plus or minus each, is because that's when he wants to bring his kids. That's where, that's where he gathers his family, and every time his family 
would visit any of his homes or any time they'd be traveling, the things that you would see, one of the first thing you would see in Wayne is a big smile. And he was a storyteller, and he was always in charge, though. So. Uh, Fran, I asked Fran one time, I says, I said, how do you put up with this guy? And she says, I love him, but he is certainly interesting. Even semi-retired, Wayne still has business interests that get him going by 6 a.m. most mornings. Carlisle Enterprises continues to be the holding company for an array of marine, property, and industrial businesses. Wayne, along the way, helps start and grow other businesses that he no longer has an interest in. Those include, among others, DFI Pultruded Composites Incorporated, maker of composite materials for sports, construction, and industry, and CastFab Technologies, a custom iron and steel foundry. Through the years, Wayne has and continues to serve on a number of boards of directors of corporate and charitable organizations. He has received numerous awards, and his charitable and philanthropic efforts are numerous. Two of the most visible and closest to his heart are his campaign to finance and place the World Peace Bell in his hometown of Newport, Kentucky, and his continuing support and longtime sponsorship of the Boy Scouts of America. Wayne Carlisle, a man who has managed to make it all look easy by doing what is right and making it simple. Welcome to the Business Hall of Fame.